Purfleet is our home in terms of Kineska has our studio in Purfleet and it's undergoing huge transformation in the next um, 10 to 15 years and that the communities that live here with the industry, the old industry has collapsed um, and the new industry is coming, that it's going to be a huge time of transition. The population of Perfleet, and it's very small and it's going to become much bigger over the next 10 years. And now's the time to really come together, to work together with the different stakeholders to think about how we grow our own community. We knew that we wanted to outreach into the community. The Grow Your Own theme wasn't necessarily just about growing your own produce and being more sustainable, but about growing your own community. The participants are contributing to the overall design. I just helped create a structure and I've, with Zyle, created the sort of material that we're making the structure out of, which is the vegetables and the um, fruit, but ultimately it's about the participants imagination and taking the inspiration from that and then developing it on. Fantastic, so that one goes in there. Oh beautiful, look at that's fantastic. Well done guys, lovely. It's quite a hard thing to carry around isn't it? <laughs> the, the theme itself was, was grow your own but we hadn't been able to connect with all the different allotments or different households and schools to say, you know, you could be growing these things throughout these whole months ready for the festival. And because we couldn't go there to ask them to do that and the schools weren't open, we couldn't encourage as many people as we would have liked to be growing your own. And Zyle and the Heavily Greens Fruit and Veg came on board to, to support us and, and make sure that we were kind of helping a local business while the local business was helping us. You know, one of the, the initial sort of ways in which Heavenly Greens uh, Fruit and Veg had been uh, engaged in, in, in the event um, was to, to produce a flag um, as a part of the community. And out of that, because I run a fruit and veg business, the, the idea for the mandalas came about and I'm quite appropriate person to to, to talk to in terms of sourcing fruit and veg, which would be in season, which would be able to, to keep and, and hold its form and shape on days like today. The challenge was, was actually getting the materials to make the mandala and how can you design it when you don't know what materials you've got. So we were really lucky to have Sophie on board and Winnie and Gemma, some local artists who we engage with um, this year to work with Sophie and um, to, to kind of come up with the design and they worked really closely with Zyle. So it was a really collaborative feel. I keep imagining myself as a bird <laughs> and looking down on it and what, what would I see from above? You're trying to design something that works in detail but also being aware that you're trying to create something that's a bigger picture. The idea was that at the end of the mandala make, we would load them and the mandala materials into bags and then redistribute them to community. Because one of my concerns was that what's going to happen to these materials. So it wasn't just this one, it was all the mandalas. What will happen to them at the end? People have worked really hard to grow their resources. We don't want to waste them. But then with the pandemic, we couldn't just have this wonderful feast at the end that we might have dreamt of. And so this was a really good solution that meant that nothing went to waste, but actually it further pushed the, the, the theme forward in that it meant we were growing those communities because we were sharing and, and swapping and, and giving for free. This mandala, more than any other, was where I think we created significant conversations that we can build on. Because a lot of people met each other for the first time. And to be working collectively so that arts can be at the centre and the lead of the re regeneration is something that is absolutely part of our values at Connecticut. It's what we've always done. We've always worked to empower communities wherever they are. Mm -hmm.